angelic. <laughs> you have on the wrap dress too, Wendy. Uh, they, they, they're good for every woman. So first of all, <laughs> I love that you're back on Celebrity Apprentice also. I love that. I'm glad to be back. Yes, yes. Glad to be back. And, um, Every, you know, I was there from the beginning, from the first season. We shot it in the fall of 2003. It's been a decade of The Apprentice. It's been 10 years. Oh my gosh. I know. <laughs> Putting everything into perspective with that one. Wow. <laughs> hey, but your, your position on the show is no different than it was back in the fall of 2003. Everybody on the show is, again, scared of you, <laughs> complaining about you, <laughs> that you start so much trouble. Well, it's interesting because Mr. Trump said it. It's it's good sometime to have a bad reputation. I kind of just sit back and make them think I'm about to do something, and they get so distracted worrying about Omarosa that they don't focus on the task. Yes. It, well, you know, one of the things that I was talking with uh, Mark McGrath, particularly, he, you know, he was on also everybody, but we were both saying that, you know, the key to being on a Celebrity Apprentice or Apprentice Period is right. that is to have rich friends to call for money. <laughs> Absolutely. But in thinking about your position on the show, no, you've never won, but yet you are the biggest star of the show. And do you have a pool of rich friends to call? Well, listen, I am not going to ask my friends to pay $25,000 for a meatball. I'd rather them write a $25,000 check to the Sue Duncan Children's Center. And so I play the game a little differently. When you're going up against Trace Atkins, who has millions and millions of dollars, and then millions and millions of friends who have millions and millions yes. of dollars, you got to have a different strategy. And your strategy is to be <laughs> smart and crafty and play people out of their position. But you know what? When women are smart and crafty, they give us all sorts of really bad names. And I've heard people sit on your couch week after week after week and call me these horrible names. You'll notice this season, I haven't called anyone out of their name. I haven't pointed out their little shortcomings. I haven't pointed out. I haven't. You, I talk right. about Come leadership. I talk about their failure to execute. I talk about the task. But you'll notice they'll go into their little one-on-ones, Wendy, and then they start talking about me. Never ever to my face because they're cowards. <laughs> but you're making a point. Yeah. All right, so LaToya was here last week, mm -hmm. and LaToya told, remember everybody, LaToya we said... We have a nickname for her. What is it? L-I-E, LaToya, because... <laughs> well, think about her past. Can we just think about her past? If you do that to your family, you'll do that to anyone. Do what? Do what? Lie. Lie, what did, What's she lie about? What's she lie about? member needed me and the whole world was accusing me of something awful. Which family member? The dearly departed Michael? Yes. Okay, go. And then you, and then the world says, Litoya, do you think your brother did it? Wouldn't you say, and stand by your brother? Yes. What does she do, world? Re refresh us. She turned against him and said, yes, he did it. And then she held a press conference and sold a book. <sighs> the sad thing is, Litoya has a problem with the truth. And so when she was sitting here lying, okay, she was well, not he, telling you the truth. Here's what she said. I'll refresh your memory. Okay, so Latoya said that, um, that Omarosa is using the death of her ex, or not her ex fiance, her dearly departed fiance, Michael Clark Duncan, to get ahead in the game. And, and I heard that you are now, you've now filed a defamation lawsuit against Latoya. Well, that's not what the defamation is. Uh, you know, she went on a couple of shows, including yours, and she repeated some really awful things. Yeah. She made some accusations about me and my fiancé. One, you don't talk about my man. Okay. He's deceased. Have some respect. It's despicable. But It's despicable. But I know what comment specifically you're talking about, and it, and it wasn't here on this show. It might have been like on Anderson Cooper or something, because I watch all the talk shows. She repeated it. Repeated again and again. You tell what it so was. So even I don't if my even... attorneys were sitting back and they're looking Say like, it. is she bright? No, the she's not. The thing about the plug. The thing about the plug. Who says that? I the... mean, it's despicable. I won't repeat it because oh. one, I love my man, okay. and everybody knows I fought to save him. Yeah. I fought that night when I lost him and because of the things that I did. Can, he was I, able can to I repeat it please. for the purpose? Okay. LaToya sa said that uh, that Omarosa probably pulled the plug, probably was the one that killed him. And, she did. And, and is that the reason for the defamation lawsuit? Absolutely. Okay. Don't attack my man. Don't attack my character. Okay. And have some respect for the deceased. I mean, this woman is insane, and okay. she's going to have to be accountable for what she said. Omarosa and the gang started filming Celebrity Apprentice only five weeks after Michael Clark Duncan yeah. uh, passed away, number one. And then the other thing is, is that, um, you know, Omarosa... 
it, it, there's no accounting for, I guess, how people handle their own grief. Well, you know, I lost my brother a year ago. A year ago. I'm sorry Michael. to hear about that also. And I miss him. I love him. And he was just an incredible person. Yeah. But when he was killed, I stayed in the bed for two and a half months. And that's how I grieved his loss. That's not the best way of dealing with grief, but that's the way I dealt with the loss of my brother. Okay. And I learned from that. Mm -hmm that staying still and staying in the bed is counterproductive to getting on with life after the death. So you want and to... so when it came to Michael's death, I had a decision of staying in the bed again, pulling the covers over my head or facing the world head on and that's what I did and I decided to go back to work. It was a month after and I'm so Jeez. proud that I was fighting Good for, for his charity. All right, but one more thing about that lawsuit. So we did some research um, and you know, when you file the defamation lawsuit, the person who it's filed against, that would be LaToya, has seven days to respond and, right. and, and apologize. It has to be a written, you can't tweet the apology or anything. You can't tweet it. <laughs> a written apology from LaToya or the lawsuit will go through. So today is the seventh day. So LaToya has until by the end of the business day? Well, she, I got a letter from her attorney. She, she told another lie and said, oh, I've not seen anything from her attorney, but we got the letter. And she blamed everybody. She blamed the apprentice the apprentice producers she blamed her other castmates she blamed the situation she said was she was stressed out but she never ever uh, apologized and it was a letter from her attorney okay so she is going to have to come out publicly and she's gonna have to retract those statements or I'm gonna go after her with the vengeance of all of Omarosa and we only have till the end of the business day today correct Absolutely. Latoya just apologize just apologize Look, everybody, up next, I want to um, hear details about, uh, well, you have some new details you said you wanted to share with us about the death of Michael Clark Duncan, well, correct? Things that I've learned particularly from that night. Okay, Wendy. we'll talk There's about that next. Lessons. And I would like to know whether he left anything for her in his will. Oh! Keep it here. <laughs> You're a bulldog. And then you better... Oh, LaToya. First, the shoe cam. Yes. I love your uh, shoes today, Omarosa. Thank you. I live for these Yves Saint Laurent. The, the YSLs. Yes. Okay, LaToya Jackson, I love you like cooked food, but my heart is pounding. During the commercial break, Omarosa told me that she's got, you're going, she's going after you like Pitbull. She's got one of the best law firms in the country. And uh, she said Johnson she's, and Johnson is gonna bring it. So. And she said she's sparing no expense. No expense, absolutely. Oh, Latoya, come on. She'll learn to mess with Omarosa and my man. Oh, Omarosa, it's been six months since your fiance, Michael yeah. Clark Duncan, passed away untimely. Yes. His untimely he death. He was here with you, Wendy, and sitting on this couch he, last time I was here. He was one of my favorite guests also. Just so big and ge just big and gentle and, you know, he all of that. about our engagement when he was here. Yeah, we talked <laughs> about the engagement. Yeah. Can you please take us back to that night that he had the heart attack? You know, Wendy, I replay that night over and over and over again in my head. But um, the biggest thing that I learned from that night is, can you just imagine if you wake up and the person that you love the most has stopped breathing? So you got Would you know what to do? Do you know CPR, by the way? I'm sorry to put you on the spot. I, I forgot it. I learned it in Girl Scouts and I learned it um, swimming. But when I heard about what you did, um, it's, it's certainly a reason to get a refresher course, but wait, yeah. okay. So, so you guys night, were in bed. We were in bed and he stopped breathing. And you have just seconds to act or you stand still and you lose the person, but his heart stopped and he stopped breathing. Essentially, he was dying in front of me. And so it is imperative that everybody in this audience, everybody that's watching, you have to learn CPR. You have to learn first aid and know how to deal with a situation. And I think that that's the most important lesson that I've learned coming out of this, that if you love them, then you'll go and learn how to save them. Yeah, yes. Taking, I have to tell you, I've never done this. I've never let people into our home or cameras into our home, but I allowed the Me Oprah, neither. the Oprah Winfrey Network came to my home to do a special called yeah. Where Are They Now? And I allowed them into our home. Uh -huh. and you get to see me at home and at my church and is doing that, my day-to-day -day -day work. Michael was alive? No, 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 this is it, after it he passed. They recent. came, yeah. So that night you did successfully revive him. You were able to call 911 and he subsequently ended up passing away a few days later. No, two months later. Two months later. Yeah, he fought, he fought long and hard at Cedars and I never left his side. I was gonna I mean, ask you, was he ever able to come home 
at the you know, we were preparing for him to come home, yeah. actually, and um, and he, he just, he passed away. But for two and a half months, I mean, I treasure every single one of those days yeah. with him. Um, now, did he take care of you in in his will? You are all there's, in there's the no business. business. You guys, there's no nice way of asking this, but I can't believe this you're comes, asking this This Wendy? comes from a good place. But did he, did he take care of you? Let me just tell you that Michael was just the most incredible, generous soul. And uh, probably the most shocking aspect of this is that um, he did want to make sure that I was cared for. So the answer very, is very yes. Well. If you don't ask the questions, you're not going yeah, to get the not, answer. It's not in good taste for me for to, to talk about that, particularly since, you know, he has passed yeah. away. I would rather have him than Of anything. course. Well, that goes without say. Yeah. So I want to thank you for coming by. Wait, before you I, go, well, I've got to shout out my church. Oh, go ahead. I'm assistant pastor at Weller Street Missionary Baptist Church. KW Toulouse is the pastor, and they're watching. Oh. In Los Angeles. <laughs> How you doing, church? <laughs> Celebrity Apprentice All-Stars airs Sunday night at 9 p.m. on NBC. Omarosa is still on. This and is I'm just playing for Sue Duncan Children's oh, Center. Oh, there you go. Michael Sheridan. All right, everybody, keep it here.